infamous Purlia arms drop happened about 20 years back. Still, the echoes of that extremely controversial operation with clearly showed the loopholes in the Indian security establishment are echoing clearly. Even now, in Denmark, a new film has come out which is leading new light into what has happened on that fateful day. Editor Vivek Narayan now joining us from Copenhagen for more on that. Uh, how have Danish authorities uh, really reacted to this documentary, Vivek? What has the Danish government, Danish Foreign Office really said? Yeah, precisely. Uh, the Danish Foreign Office has refused to come on camera on the issue, but to a query from me, they have replied back saying that the Danish Foreign Minister's Office uh, does not agree with the contents of the film. They consider this documentary as a piece of fiction and they think that this is intended at giving more sympathy to Niels Hawk, aka Kim Davy. Uh, so clearly they have distanced themselves from it, but that is that enough uh, that the uh, government of Denmark has done? Have they done enough to make sure that he is extradited? Have they made sure their prosecutor's office works overtime and then challenges the verdict of the High Court to stop uh, Niels Hawk from being sent to India? Will they challenge it in the Supreme Court of Denmark? These are questions that uh, the government of Denmark has to answer. Vivek, have you seen the film? Do you find it to be one-sided? Yes, I have seen the film, uh, the entire film. Uh, the contents are clearly controversial. Uh, they are perhaps aimed at uh, generating more sympathy for uh, Kim Davy uh, and uh, Peter Bleach, uh, the two people who were involved in the arms drop, whom we know were clearly involved in the arms drop. But the film also does not say many things, you know, unanswered questions as uh, uh, they have not interviewed any Indian official. Their Indian point of view has not been represented at all in the film. The film director I spoke to said the Indian officials were not ready to speak. That may not be true because there are several officers of the CBI who have opened up and are ready to speak on camera. So there is a big question on whether there has been a selective collection of uh, interviews uh, in the film. Vivek, the key man, the mastermind, do we get to know more about him when the fresh details linked to this mystery are revealed tomorrow? I believe he's not referred to in the documentary. Yes, the key man here is Peter Haystrop. Nobody has heard of him, nobody has seen him, but there is reference to him everywhere whenever a reference is made to the uh, Purlia arms drop story. Because remember, he was one man who was all through hand holding the entire operation. Uh, these two, Kim Davy and Peter Bleach, first met at the residence of, uh, uh, of Peter Haystrop. He is the key man. He met them in different places. He met them in Eastern Europe. He was in Dhaka waiting for the operation to happen as a plane crossed from Pakistan to India. Uh, so he is a key man. Why is it that there is no reference in the film uh, to him? Why is it that the Danish authorities, the filmmakers or whoever is uh, scared of this person, Peter Histrup?